Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Minecraft Bedrock Edition is not loading on your computer. So if the game is not loading at all, or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First of all, open any browser. In browser, in Google search, you can type in gaming service repair tool, and then go to Xbox website, which says gaming services repair tool for PC. Now on this website, scroll down over here, you can see downloadable version, click on it and then scroll down and click on download the gaming services repair tool for PC. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This may take a couple of minutes. Once this is done, you will see completed successfully. Once you see this, now you can close this and then you can check. Still, it is not loading. You can open Xbox app on your computer. On the top left here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow. And once the repair is complete, you can close this and then try to check. But still, it's not loading. Then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to end Minecraft from task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. And then if you find Minecraft in the list, then make a right click on Minecraft and then click on end task. If you don't find Minecraft, then you can skip this step. So you can scroll down and find if you find anything related to Minecraft, make a right click and then click on end task. And once this is done, you can try to launch Minecraft launcher once again. But still you're facing problem, then check for any outage from Microsoft. Uh, from Microsoft side, if there is any kind of outage, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link from the browser. It will take you to Xbox website. Over here, you can see Xbox status right now is all services up and running. So if there is any kind of outage, you will see limited icon or major outage icon. So in this list, if you see like limited or major outage, that means something is wrong. Like there is some kind of outage from Microsoft. That's why you're unable to open Minecraft launcher. But right now, all the services are, are up and running. That means there is no problem from Microsoft. So you can check the status. But if there is no outage, then in that case, follow the next step. That is disconnect PS5 or PS4 controller. Many users were facing this problem. So you can try to disconnect the controller which you are not using. So disconnect all the controllers which you are not using. If you have these devices connected, you can disconnect these devices, unplug these devices from your computer. So also, if you have any kind of uh, virtual controller connected, you can disable it or uninstall them. So disconnect all the external devices which you're not using and then launch Minecraft launcher. Still you're facing the problem, then verify and repair the game. Now to verify and repair the game, open Xbox app on your computer. Now, if you don't have Xbox app, you can install Xbox app from Microsoft Store. You can install Xbox app from Microsoft Store. And once you install it, you can launch Xbox app, login once you log, once you're logged in. Now over here, you can see Minecraft launcher, make a right click and then click on manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair. Click on yes. And here you can see installing and it will actually, it's actually verifying. Now you can try to launch the Minecraft launcher. Still you're facing the problem. Next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch the game as an administrator using the desktop shortcut. Now for this again on Minecraft, uh, on Xbox app, make a right click on Minecraft launcher and then click on manage and then click on under general, click on create desktop shortcut. Click on it. Now once you click on it, go to desktop and you should be able to see shortcut. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still, it's not launching. The next step is to repair or reset the launcher. Now for this, type in Minecraft launcher in Windows search box and then make a right click on Minecraft launcher and then click on app settings. And then scroll down and then you will see the repair option. So scroll down, click on repair. And after the repair, try to open Minecraft launcher. Still you're facing the problem, then click on reset, reset. Now after the reset, try to open Minecraft launcher. Now still you are unable to launch, then install legacy version of Minecraft launcher. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Minecraft website. And over here you can see 
download Windows Legacy Launcher. So you can click on this uh, link and over here, once the download is complete, run this file. And now, uh, first of all, before you install the Legacy Launcher, make sure that you uninstall the previous version of Minecraft Launcher. I'm sorry about that. First of all, you have to uninstall the previous version. So make a right click and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, copy this link and then go to this website, then install download Windows Legacy Launcher. Now you can run this file after you uninstall that previous launcher and then you can install this new Legacy Launcher and then launch the Minecraft Launcher. Still you are facing the problem, then delete Microsoft Store local cache file for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items, you should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find the view option, click on view and somewhere over here you will find the hidden item box. So put a check on the box and you should be able to see app data folder. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder, now open the packages folder, so find packages and open packages folder. Now scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store Service uh, folder. So scroll down here, you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and here you can see local cache folder, make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now restart your computer and then launch Minecraft launcher. Still you are facing the problem. Then log in with same account in Xbox app and with same account on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on the top right here. You can see your profile icon. Click on it. Then click on sign out. Then click on sign in. And select the right account. Make sure that you select the right account which has the Minecraft launcher. And then it will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password. And once logged in, now open Xbox app. And over here, click on this uh, profile icon, then click on sign out. And then click on sign in, sign in. And select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. So when this load, you can, if uh, it shows the correct account, if this is not the correct account, then you can switch account and select the same account which you've selected in Microsoft Store. So you have to make sure that you log in with same account on store and with same account on Xbox app and then launch Minecraft launcher. Now still you are facing the problem. Then the next step is to make sure date, make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your Windows computer. So now over here I see install button. So in that case you can open Xbox app once again and then you will see the play option. Now Make a right click on the date and time on the bottom right here. You can see the date and time. Make a right click, right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And over here, make sure set time automatically is on. Also make sure set time zone automatically is also on over here. And then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on, click on sync now. And if you see that uh, if it is not syncing, you can click on sync now again and again. And once it will be synced. So click on sync now and then go to time and language and go to region and then make sure the right country is selected over here. You should have the right country selected over here. And then launch the launcher. Next step is to install all updates in Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. On the bottom left here, you can see library option. Click on library and then click on get updates. Now once all the updates are installed, now you can try to launch Minecraft launcher. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to the settings. Go to update in security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch Minecraft launcher. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in windows search box and then click on WS reset command. This will open black screen for few seconds, few microseconds and it will open Microsoft store and then you can try to launch the launcher. Next step is to repair reset Xbox app or my and Microsoft store. So first of all, type in store in Windows search box, make a right click on Microsoft store and then click on app settings. Now this will open Windows settings.
and then scroll down and over here you can see the repair option click on repair after the repair try to launch the minecraft launcher still you are facing the problem then click on reset reset and after the reset you can try to open minecraft launcher do the same thing with the xbox app so once you reset xbox uh, microsoft store still you are facing the problem in that case open xbox app so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click and then click on app settings and do the same thing scroll down and then click on repair and then launch minecraft launcher if that does not work you can click on reset reset and after the reset you can try launching minecraft launcher now still you are facing the problem then the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so here you can see errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete so even if you see many errors just ignore it and let the process complete this will take some time so once this is done restart your computer and then open minecraft launcher still you are facing the problem then start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper and set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the end you will find all the xbox services so make a double click on each one of them and then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok so start all the microsoft services uh, xbox services click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services so over here you can see gaming services make sure gaming services are running if you don't see gaming services over here then you can follow the next step but if you see it make sure it's running if not running you can make a right click and then click on restart or start if it's already running like this then you can stop it and then you can restart the service once again stop it and restart so gaming services is gone let me open services once again now here you can see gaming services now you can restart once you stop it you can restart so you can make a right click and then click on start or restart in my case it's automatically restarted so you can click on start or restart after you stop it you restart the gaming services and then find microsoft store install service so here you can see microsoft store install services make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then now try to launch minecraft launcher now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so for this copy the first command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell once again in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here this will uninstall gaming services from the computer and once this is done even if you don't find gaming services still you run the first command and then copy the second command and then paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and you will see gaming services over here and it will give you an option to install gaming services so it's loading right now here you can see install gaming services so click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete once the download is complete now you can try to open minecraft launcher let let it complete first and also install xbox identity provider so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser 
it will take you to Microsoft Store website and over here you can see Xbox Identity Provider. Click on Get in Store app and then click on it will it will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on Open Microsoft Microsoft Store. Now if Xbox Identity Provider is not installed on your computer, it will give you an option to install a Get option. You will see Install or Get button over here. In my case, Xbox is Identity Provider is already installed. That's where that's why there is no button to install. But if this is not installed, you will see install or get button. If you don't see a button, that means it's already installed. You don't have to do anything. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall launcher. So you can type in Minecraft launcher in Windows search box and then make a right click on Minecraft launcher and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once this is uninstalled, then restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can go to Xbox app or Microsoft Store, you can type in Minecraft Launcher over here and then click on Minecraft Launcher and you can install it from here. You will see install button or you can even use Xbox app. So you can open Xbox app and you can try installing Minecraft Launcher from Xbox app. Once installed, you can launch Minecraft Launcher. Now you can also if uh, you can also still you're facing the problem you can also install the legacy version if the modern version the current version does not work you can install minecraft launcher from uh, website also you, you can first of all try windows 10 or 11 if that does not work you can try windows legacy launcher and then check now the next step is to if nothing is working you can update windows using media creation tool if you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now once you update your windows using media creation tool, you can launch Minecraft launcher. Launch it. Uh, still you are facing the problem, then you can again uninstall and reinstall Minecraft launcher. You can try both Windows 10 and 11 version. If that does not work, you can use Windows Legacy Launcher. Install it and then launch Minecraft Launcher. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch Minecraft Launcher successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to load the game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.